Once the Baal Shem Tov told his pupils <clears throat> that he wants them all to get dressed up warm, warmly warm. They put on heavy coats and put on another, another pair of socks. And he wants them, they're going to go out near on the banks of the river. It was the middle of winter, Ukrainian river, or U U Ukrainian winter. Very cold, 20 degrees below zero, more. Bitter, bitter cold. So he took his pupils, 10, 20 pupils, and they all went by the river. The river was frozen over. And they got there before nightfall. They concealed themselves near the bank of the river in a bunch of trees or bushes, whatever. And they all huddled together. And the Baal Shem Tov said, wait. So they waited, they waited an hour, the sun set, and another half an hour. And suddenly they heard from a distance, they heard drums. Drums. Broom, 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 broom. Boom, boom, boom. And they looked in the distance, they saw these little sort of flickering lights. They couldn't figure out what it was. And they watched, and Baal Shem Tov told everyone to keep quiet. And they watched, and it was a procession coming from some monastery that was nearby. Nearby. Yeah. I'm almost finished. Another 15 minutes, I'm finished. Or I'll call you up. So. <clears throat> The drums, they come closer. It was, it was a procession of priests, whatever, monks, whatever, from this monastery. Oh, no, it was about a hundred of them. And they were carrying torches, and one person had a drum, and they were cut. And they marched onto the ice. They marched onto the ice, and they made a big, formed a big, a big uh, ring on, around the ice. They stood, stood in a big circle. And one of them, who was probably, you know, the leader of them, whatever, he came and he made this big X on the, you know, their sign of the, the, the religion. He made it on the uh, cross on the, on the ice. And then they started singing this weird, these weird songs and these chants. You know, they're singing, they sing all the chants. They're all singing in unison together. And of course, the pupils who are, you know, have made every effort, every instant of the day, just to keep themselves holy and think about. You know, God, so here they they have to witness, they're being forced to witness this idolic, idolatrous practice, you know, clearly. And they sing a few songs, a few more songs, and a few more chants, and this, and with their, with their torches. And then they march back. They march back. And the Baal Shem Tov said, the whole thing took maybe a half an hour. And they marched back, and the pupils thought out, and one of them said, you know, Master, why in the world did you want us to see this horrendous, you know, march of death, this terrible, idolatrous march? What, 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 what is this supposed to do? So the Baal Shem Tov said to them, my friends, my pupils, in the summer, when it's warm, as this is a river. Where we stood was just a river, and it's flowing. And, of course, it's impossible to stand on. But now when it's winter and it's freezing, it freezes over as it's possible to stand on it, and even to carve out idolatry in it. So the, this river represents the Jewish soul. And the Jewish soul has to be warm and running all the time. <clears throat> Shouldn't be plagued with doubts with fear, with desires, with hatred, that freezes you. Sadness. A soul always has to be moving, warm, dynamic, positive, and productive. <clears throat> you have to push away depression, egotism, every moment. Avoid it by being happy, by being warm. Because if not, it could be that you'll be cold, and then not only will it be difficult to serve God, man can stand on it, and those men will be more important. You'll be more important than the Creator. 
but it'll even be possible to carve idolatry into your soul. That's the message the Baal Shem Tov taught to his pupils, the importance of being warm and positive and <clears throat> but, uh, there's a good word I wanted to say and be uh, pragmatic. Uh, that's not the word. To be positive and okay, productive. I'll think of it as soon as I turn this off. I'll think about the world. But in any case, to be happy. A person has to be happy because he's alive and because there's a future and because God loves every person. He's keeping us alive. And the future can always be different and it will be different with Mashiach now. Have a good day. God willing, we'll meet tomorrow, 8.15. Thank you for coming.